Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Microsoft Surface Book 2 and today I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows. Alright, so this Surface Book Windows installation, almost same process but the BIOS setup is completely different than any other laptop or notebook PC. So first of all, you should have bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive and it must has to be in UEFI. And if you'd like to know how to create the bootable Windows installer, then you can check the video link could be in the description. So first of all, what are you going to do? We're going to restart it. And this is the one by the way I created. I used Rufus to do that. Okay. So make sure you have one of them. And then I would suggest you, you can keep it connected or you can just leave as it is and then we're going to restart it when you restart we're going to press and hold the volume up so especially the volume up is for bios settings and volume down for temporary boot option so once we press and hold the volume up it's going to take you directly to the bios as you can see right here so first of all we're going to get into tpm and the tpm has to be disabled or switched off and then we're going to go to secure boot settings from here we're going to choose microsoft only all right so once two of them done then we're going to go to devices and from devices section everything has to be enabled exactly like that now let's go to configure boot device folder this is really important so what you have to do there are a few options as you can see we don't have to delete that one this is the current windows boot manager and the second one, all the black spotted checked one, those are enabled like USB storage, internal storage, Windows Boot Manager. But if you look at the bottom one, which is called advanced options, here is tricky options, okay? The first one you have to leave it enable, enable alternate boot sequence has to be enable. Then enable network boot option, you can leave it disabled and then enable boot from USB devices has to be enabled. And then the last second one, enable boot configuration lock, it has to be disabled. If not disabled, then you're not gonna get any boot devices visible, okay? So once you keep it like that, save it, that one, restart it. So while you restart it, we need to press and hold the volume down this time okay so when you press and hold the volume down what happens is it's going to take you directly to the temporary boot option which is usb selected there and it's going to turn on from there as you can see i kept holding for 20 to 30 seconds and i can see the microsoft logo is there something is spinning it indicates there is something happen on the background so if you have the correct USB boot installer, then you're going to see the Windows setup page. I'm going to hit next, whatever you would like. You can choose from here and then hit next. Accept the terms and condition. Choose the internal drive the where you would like to install the Windows. If you want to create the partition, you can do that. You know, it's pretty much simple like any other Windows setup. Okay. So... It might gonna take 10 to 30 seconds. Let's see how it goes. Sometimes it takes even longer. It depends on what sort of USB stick that you have. Here we go. So you can accept the terms and condition, hit next, and I'm gonna do fresh installation. By the way, if you get to this page, make sure before you delete anything, you back up the data, otherwise you're gonna lose everything, okay? So feel free to back it up first before you get too further. All right, so I'm going to have a single partition here. I'm going to delete every single existing one. And I'm going to hit next. And now it's going to start the main process. It's going to copy everything to the right directory. And then it should be finalized. And it should be pretty much done everything. So let's see until the end if this boot is successful. Because I found many cases for Sources Book 2 does get failure most of the time at 99% or while it restart due to the incorrect BIOS settings, okay?
so finally it's done now it's going to get back to the main desktop page you might get some difficulties with the drivers because when you reinstall especially the fresh windows you don't see any drivers there for example wi-fi driver touch issues the camera drivers and many other drivers okay so if you do struggle with the wi-fi driver i would suggest you you can just download the drivers for this correct model by another laptop and put it into the usb and reinstall it or you might can have temporary wi-fi module to get the wi-fi connection and when you up to date everything or update the windows it's going to install all the driver by itself all right so thank you so much for watching guys i hope i'll see in the next video bye for now